vote to impose a state of emergency in the southeast was during the week uncovered by the retired Deputy Inspector General of Police, Uzo Celestine Nkonye. According to him, who spoke to Saturday Telegraph, he said the attacks by unknown gunmen in the southeast is politically motivated by some external forces who have concluded plans to make the area ungovernable, hence paving way for the official declaration of a state of emergency. Konye said that the body you call IPOP has pattern of operations and they have said it that they were not involved in the attacks on the Oweri Correction Center and the state's police command. And we know that Namdikanu, their leader, has made it clear that they had no hands in the incident. Himo State Governor Hope Uzodema also made it clear in a broadcast that the attack was uh, politically motivated. This is a grand plot to make the Southeast ungovernable and declare a state of emergency in Igbo land so that they will now institute an interim government to suppress the agitations in the Southeast. These people were imported from outside Nigeria by powers that be in the country to cause trouble in the southeast and they appear to be succeeding. Those who are claiming that it is the handwork of IPOP or MASOP are missing the point because you cannot destroy what you established. For example, most police stations in Igbo land were built by our people and handed over to the police and as such you cannot convince me that we are destroying our own facilities <laughs> trouble anyway it's not shocking i don't think there is anything that's going to shock nigerians again <laughs> we have seen the worst already you get there is nothing impossible in this country we all know that is a, a drama country anything can play out and anybody can come you know do your drama you come out you go sit down and nothing happens you get this country is a drama country and nobody dares cough you know and all that okay let's hear what nigerians have to say about this someone said that you can only deceive your people by telling them what they like to hear just that Nigerians knew that IPOB and Boko Haram are bags of the same feather. How can DIG can be conjure that uh, IPOB is not behind the attack? Straight to the point, the destruction in the south southeast is clearly financed by external forces who is looking for an opportunity to invite their military to invade the southeast in uh, to to invade the southeast for their genocidal plans against the indigents living in the southeast sorry about that whatever plan whatever evil plan they are planning against the Igbo will never materialize instead it will boomerang on the evil people state of emergency should be declared in the north first the north have more serious security problems Insecurity in the South is caused by marginalization, execution, imposition of herdsmen, refusal to restructure and military presence. This can easily be resolved, uh, unlike insecurity in the North. Nobody has a solution. All right, someone said SD, DIG, Celestine Nkonye is a really great man. No? He spoke the truth always. Okay, I believe it's just plain stupid politics because of fear. He should just close his mouth if he has nothing to say. Nkonye is a pity. It's a pity for you to... Because soon, soon ethnic bigots attacks in the southeast are being masterminded by IPOB. Our traditional people should consult Oracle to know which people is doing all these things in Igbo land. Wow. Okay, someone said then, yeah, tell them, tell them, sir, let the five eastern uh, stage of the Fulanese hear your voice. 
and message. How can you just say IPOB is not is not innocent, even when their leader ordered members to kill and and uh, Mim and Igbo in the southeast? I can't believe it. Half a dozen is different from six. Okay, Nigerians, they are see. Uh, reacting to what the SDIG Celestine Uzo Nkoyi have just said. Okay, this is very correct. So anyone with sense of reasoning we know these attacks are by Fulanis pushing an agenda for a military takeover of the Southeast. So, so real. <laughs> because the way these people are doing these things, we all know that they are the ones sponsoring all the attacks and all that. Millions have died in the Northeast and there were no such declaration. Why talking about Southeast where there is no issues? In short, there was a country called Nigeria. I have already, already I have always said it, almost all the police stations in the Southeast were built by Igbos themselves. There is no way the same Igbo can be sitting, uh, setting their own properties on fire. Also, all the police officers and prison staff killed were Igbos, including women. The acts of terror are being carried out by Buhari men. We saw the same pattern during Abacha war. Okay. All right. Someone said, yeah, we are not as mad as the uh, not. We can't destroy our land. It is precious to us. We protect it with our last blood. Why in the north, ravaged by bandits and Boko Haram, no state is being declared a state of emergency? Haram to rubbish. These are Nigerians reacting to this um, declaration of a uh, state of emergency and all that. Who is saying that? What is happening in Kaduna, Niger, Castina, Zamfara State? Is it not enough for state of emergency? You are a fool. Do you think you are talking to the children here? Okay, I know this was the plan of uh, along the conspiracy and all that. They, they want declared state of emergency in the start is why terrorists has been busy killing and destroying properties in the north for years. No state of emergency. So hi guys, we are done here and now. Wait till you get to talk for this matter. The SDIG Mkoye said they plot to declare state of emergency in Southeast behind attacks in the region, you know, has been uncovered. Meanwhile, Nigerians who have reacted to this, some are of the opinion that before declaring state of emergency in Southeast, they made them first go north, you know, that they have Zamfara State, they have uh, Kastina, they, they also have Niger State. They say Wahala is still plenty for that side. Not be a little sad is Nigerians are the one reacting to this. So hi guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.